In a previous video, we talked about the Bobcat AT 2025, the articulating tractor from Bobcat that is being built in collaboration with Steiner. Looks like that's going to be the Steiner 460. This is a quick video on updates we know about that machine. As a side note, I am saying Steiner 460. There's nothing from Steiner that says that's the name of their next model, but I believe their naming conventions are just add 10, so 450 is their current model, 440 was the one before that. So I'm just going to say Steiner 460. As far as the timing on this machine, you'll remember it was first revealed the beginning of 2022, February or March, at a dealer meeting. We haven't seen anything of it since. We think some kind of delay happened. It does look like that's the case. Had a couple people reach out to me and say that early to mid-2024 is when you're going to be looking at seeing the Bobcat AT 2025. I would assume that timing would hold true for the Steiner 460 as well. As far as what this might mean for Steiner, it is interesting when we see Bobcat... Um, take over a brand for a certain type of product. I'm thinking specifically of the green Bobcat mowers. They don't run the green Bobcat mowers and the white Bobcat mowers together, right? They eliminate the green Bobcat mowers and switch everything over to white mowers. And that makes sense because uh, with Bobcat, their brand, their name recognition is probably a lot more valuable than somebody like the Green Bobcat or somebody like Steiner. So what some folks have said to me and makes complete sense is they are a little worried that when that Bobcat AT 2025 does finally come out, it might mean that the Steiner brand gets permanently shuttered because what we're seeing is that the Steiner 460 and the Bobcat AT 2025 are, are really the same machine with just some cosmetic differences right now. So you've got to ask yourself, is Bobcat someone who's likely to let their brand be diluted in that manner? And at least for me, the answer is no. They wouldn't. So I wouldn't be surprised if Steiner goes away and is completely absorbed into the Bobcat Enterprise. And then moving forward, we only see the white Bobcat AT 2025 and we don't see the red Steiner 460 or the red Steiner tractors. We've still not been able to get full confirmation on what that machine is going to be made out of. The molding, the curves of everything, it I guess it could be metal, but I think from the industry experts I've talked to that the cost to make that kind of tooling for metal based on the number of machines that a compact tractor like that would sell, it's not something that would make sense financially. So at least now leaning towards maybe some type of fiberglass hood, fiberglass frame fenders, maybe it's a plastic. We really don't know. That's one thing I'm hoping to get clarification on in the future. As far as engine options on the Bobcat AT 2025, someone has told me do not expect gas engine options like on the Ventrac, like on the Steiner. And again, that makes sense. That's really what Bobcat does best. It's what they know best. The only issue is, and I'm not an expert on this by any means, so I could be saying something wrong, but there's something that has to be built into that engine to clean the exhaust, the emissions. And that stuff, not only does it add price, add weight, but more importantly, it takes up space. And the issue with these compact tractors is that their footprint is already so crammed full of stuff that it's going to be very difficult to find the space to put those DEF or regen systems, but that's a big concern if we only have diesel options with the Bobcat AT 2025. Are we going to have something more powerful than a 25 horsepower engine option? And if so, where's everything going to go? And this is me guessing, but I believe the hand controls that you see pictured here are what will move the machine forward and backwards. The larger joystick that you see in these images, it looks like that's going to control all your hydraulic functions on the front end. It's pretty much like a, a loader controller, right? Like on a skid steer or something. That type of skid loader joystick, that only works if you have the dedicated forward and reverse pedals that Bobcat has, right? Because if you think about it, if you're using a set of hand controls to move the machine forward and back, and and you have to move to a different set of controls to lift, lower, curl, uncurl, any of your auxiliary functions, then you're never going to be able to be super efficient, meaning that you're, you're moving and 
making changes to things like buckets or maybe dozer blades or snow blowers, power buckets with tilt and scoop features, things like that. If you need to manipulate your attachment in any way, you're kind of stuck using the foot controls. It looks like the Bobcat AT2025 Steiner 460 is going to have some kind of shift on the fly. Here, you need to stop the machine. You need to be on level ground. You need to move a lever and unlock it and pull it over and put a little locking pin in. Maybe a 30 second or less process, but shifting on the fly, that could be pretty nice. I've also heard of a front locking differential. I talked to somebody who knows more about it than me and they said it might be some type of electronic over hydraulic system. Pretty neat that they're gonna be putting that much technology into it. So those are the new pieces of information that I have about the Bobcat AT2025 Steiner 460. It's all prototype stuff right now, so any of this can change. A big thank you to the folks who did give me this information. If you've reached out to me with things you know about the Bobcat or the Steiner, I really appreciate it. You're the main reason this video is even possible so thank you if you've got any questions be sure and leave them down in the comments and i will try and answer them the description is going to be the place to go though i'm going to put all the information i have in there a link to all the videos on this machine this will be inside of a bobcat at2025 steiner 460 playlist so be sure and check that out for more information as always thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it